We want to find out everything there is to know about. And uh, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, cause I have to say that, don't I? Yes, cause there's a lollipop on the screen. That means you have to say welcome back. Well, geez, that doesn't work out too well. I'm actually recording. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Yeah, nothing better to do. That's why I'm recording. Yay. Zach, let the treasure hunt begin. A crowded place, and yet it is very quiet there. Have you figured it out, Zach? It must be the graveyard. There's lots of people there, but none of them can speak. You see? So let's get going to the graveyard. That was brilliant. I mean, ingenious. That would have been a better word. So, yeah, now we have to head on over to the graveyard. Yep, that's where we're heading to next. Alright, so, let's get it going. And I hate this camera angle. God damn it. Uh, what's... How do you change... Okay, it's already to change. Okay, uh, for the record, I did buy the PS3 version of this Deadly uh, Dark Disc Code. I played a little bit of it. But to be honest, I really couldn't play too much of it. It's not because of the game or anything, it's just because I'm let's playing this right now, and I kind of don't want to over-redundancy thing. Okay, if I take the road this way, how do I get there? Okay. There's a car down here. That's cool. Yeah, who's, who's, oh, the Ingrams. Who is here? Who's Mansion? Okay, so I'm there. No, where am I at? Okay, I'm here. Okay, Harry has a very long road to get to his place. Okay, take this, take that, take that. Now we at the graveyard in no time. Alright, there we go. I have to look for this off beaten path. That goes right here. Alright, guys, we're going off the beaten path for sure, and I can barely drive this. I think our car will break down before anything else. There aren't many young women left in this town. Even Emily could be targeted next. I can't rule that out. All the more reason to catch the murder killer ASAP. And that means working closely together. We can work out the Emily situation later. Don't get me wrong, Zach. I mean, I'm not interested in Emily because she's female or anything. I'm just saying she's interesting. You know, as an interesting person. But by looking at her, she reminds me of something I used to feel. That's all. Like back when I first met you. You know, that feeling we all used to feel back when we were kids. Feeling safe while also feeling a need to protect. That kind of feeling. But Zach, who made me feel that back? Getting closer one step at a time to cracking this case. I have a feeling it's going to get tough. Alright, I'm actually going to show us something different. Because it's a bit off the off beaten path. But, if we get out of the car right here. Okay, good, the car stays here. Sometimes it's like, uh, glitch on, uh, not glitch, but cleat. Zach, we're supposed to play I don't even know what I'm saying. Harry's little game, remember? I know. I'm with you on that. I don't like being played with either. And, but we found a sternum. That's much more important than what you're thinking about. A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but shouldn't I let someone know? Not really, until we, unless you want to collect all the bones, then yes, you can collect all the bones and you'll get a special treat for that. I think it's a weapon or something. I, I honestly don't know. But hey, if you're up to it, you can do it. Uh, go ahead if you're out there. I'm probably gonna be. I'm doing now my PS3 run, by the way. I'm also doing it with the PS3 move, which is kind of cool to do it. Uh, it's the controls aren't that bad considering. And I kind of mean, I'm not trying to sound bad with it, but I mean it's not that bad. in concern I thought it would be a little bit more worse, I suppose. But no, it's actually really great, to be honest. All right, so. Somebody just had to be rude and whistle, didn't they? Alright, so I'm... You 
But if you took the path I was taking, which I'm hoping you're not, uh, you're driving down the railroad. Yes, you are. There's that much out there, but yeah. Uh, you're gonna want to take a right, right here. I think you can buy cars in this game. Yeah, you can. Or can you? I don't even know if that's car dealership or not. I've never seen it open, so. There you go. I play this game at weird hours, so who else would be open? Francis Eric Morgan, you're a crazy, crazy little man. Alright, so we're coming up on the graveyard now. I, we've driven by this before, I believe. And now we're actually going to have to go into it. So you head on down this way, and. Uh oh, it's Brian. It is Brian. You see him over there? A crazy dude. Great, there was a path you could have took in here. God damn. Just as Harry said, it's crowded and quiet. Hey, Brian. Agent. Mr. Agent, how are you? Oh, uh, not bad. I'm, uh, just playing a little game with Harry. Game? A game? <laughs> is that fun? We've only just started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. Is there a tree in the graveyard that drops red seeds? Seeds? Red seeds? That? That tree does. And that one. Why do I not like the sound of that at all? But guys, if you want to come behind this guy, you can get some green tomatoes. Uh, green tomatoes are pretty good, so I'd say grab up. Uh, also, you can't do anything in there, but you can save. Uh, you can sleep in there later on. There's a bone off the beaten path here, but if you try to go to the front gate, it's going to tell you it's locked, so you can't get in like that. But, you know what? We're going to have to pull out our FBI custom here. No, we actually don't, don't need that yet. Oh, wait. Actually, we could use it to kill that guy back there. By the way, this is so much better than the Nets one. But these guys do not take as many hits. That I mean, they don't take like seven hits from this gun. They actually only take like four hits, which is a lot better. Because you just see, I had to unload my entire clip. Well, like, eight of those bullets missed. But you, I think you guys get what I mean. I love how many bullets I'm shooting into this guy and he's still alive. I haven't gotten to the part where, uh, whatchamacallit, it's come out or anything, so I can't really make a uh, statement on that where the wall callers come out, but god, I'm hoping they're a lot easier. Oh shit. Oh come on, that's perfectly in position right there. Who would believe that? Oh shit. Alright, I don't think we've tried out the shotgun yet, so let's give that a try. And you can see the shotgun's very powerful. Alright, so they'll... You die already! I said die! You die! Thank you. No! I said die! Thank God, that was so annoying. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me! I I'm gonna try just to sneak past all these. Oh God! Oh come on! You gotta be kidding me! This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So, I'm gonna have to use my medium head kit and a bunch of these. If I can at least get past her, I'll be happy. 
And not, we're not getting past him, or wait, can we? Yes, we can. Oh my god, I'm so happy I got past those people. Let's just keep running, just keep running, just get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh shit, they're actually coming. As you can see, they are coming. But I don't think they can have that many units on screen at once, so... That's why I couldn't probably have all those there at the same time. Uh, let's stop doing this so we don't get attacked from behind. Okay, that was just creepy. Alright, I think if you come over here, we're gonna find another bone before you go into the mission thing. Remember that. We may not be able to get it later. And you'll find the left foot bone. We're already creating a part of a human. You probably should, Yerk. You probably should. If you attack these, there's nothing worthwhile, but you can't break out here. I'm using up this mission knife for unrelated purposes, apparently. But I like to hold on my shotgun just in case anything goes wrong. Just in case anything goes south. That mission accomplished. Let's get back to Harry's. The reward better be good. Yeah, for that. But you know about mm. these seeds? They were right here under my nose. It's as if I was carefully carrying a bottle of water while walking in a pool. We're learning the countryside version of common sense the hard way, Zach. The moral of the story, kids, don't trust red trees. They're unnatural. Is that a dog? That is a dog. God, has bad polygons. Come back here, you puppy. Hey, you're a good doggy. Didn't you die in the first episode, though? Uh, how did I get out? Can I just walk out? Apparently not. So, how did that dog even get in there then? That's probably one of life's great mysteries. How did the dog get into the cage? We will never know. We will never know. So, you're just going to have to take this way on out because for some odd reason the thing's been locked. So yeah, let's uh, talk to Brian before we leave. See if he has anything interesting to say for himself about this crazy shit happening here. Bad, bad seeds. I I won't touch them. Well, apparently these seeds are pretty bad. But hey, let's make a call to a good old friend. Hopefully there's nothing wrong. Alright, so I'm saving my data here. And this may be where I cut or maybe not cut. I have no clue. Probably not going to cut it here. Yeah, I probably will. Sorry guys, but I cut there.